Now we're going to create an interactive chart from our pivot table. So with any cell in the pivot table selected, so that you're in the pivot table tools tab, click options, and then on the right is pivot chart. Click that and it opens up a dialog box asking you what kind of chart you'd like to insert. I have some templates that I can share with you, but for now, let's select column chart, click OK, and that opens up a basic pivot chart. And what's really cool about this chart is, you, first of all, you can make it bigger or smaller by dragging the corners and edges of it, and it responds to the pivot table so that if you add data to your all data to the bottom as you gather data in the field and you add it, you append it to the end of this all data Excel table, then refresh your pivot table. The pivot chart will automatically refresh also and it will continue to grow as you accrue more data. The other super cool thing about the pivot chart is that it responds to the level of grouping that you have in the pivot table so that if you expand March, for example, to show every day in March, it will open up March in your pivot chart also so that you could see the March for 2008, 2009, and 2010, which can be super cool when you're comparing year to year. You can also collapse it all even down to the year and you end up with something that really tells a story a lot clearer than all that jumble, right? Ozone concentrations have gone down steadily since 2008. And what's so cool is that really wasn't apparent from the way we had the groupings before. So the pivot chart is super cool and we can make it individualized so that it's most useful for you. And if any time you wanna just copy it into a Word document, you just select it so that you have this little border around it, you right click, you say copy, and then you just paste it into your Word document. However it looks there is how it's gonna look in your Word document.